Well, this week during our daily devos, I'm taking you on a timeline of Holy Week, what Jesus did each day between Palm Sunday and Easter. And today, of course, we're at Good Friday. And it is packed with events. In the very early morning hours, Jesus' first trial is getting underway, and Peter denies knowing Jesus three times before the rooster crows. And then before the third hour, as the Bible puts it, which is nine in the morning, Jesus has already endured slander and mockery and beatings and abandonment by all of his friends, uh, except for some of the women and John who are following at a distance. And then after multiple unlawful trials, Jesus is sentenced to death by crucifixion by the Roman governor Pilate. And then soldiers spit on him, torture him, mock him, pierce his forehead with a crown of thorns. And then Jesus has to carry his own cross to Calvary, where again he's mocked and insulted by the crowds as Roman soldiers nail him to the wooden cross. And then Jesus speaks seven final statements from the cross. And his very last is, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Did you know that this is Psalm 31, 5, with one word added, Father? That verse was the prayer that every Jewish mother in Jesus' day taught her child to say the very last thing at night. Just like you were taught maybe to say, now I lay me down to sleep. A Jewish mom taught her child to say, before nighttime, into your hands I commit my spirit. And this is the last prayer Jesus prays. It's so beautiful. But Jesus adds one word. Jesus makes it even more personal, even more intimate. He begins it with the word, Father. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Even on the cross, Jesus trusts his Father and dies like a child falling asleep in his Father's arms. And I'm struck how this is the key to serenity in any crisis, right? In this COVID year of crisis, being able to find peace by saying, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. Can you say that now about whatever fears you face? Well, then about the ninth hour, 3 p.m., Jesus breathes his last and he dies and by 6 p.m. that Friday night, Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea are taking Jesus' body down from the cross, laying it in a tomb, actually Joseph's family tomb, where it will stay until Sunday morning. And what a celebration and surprise that will be. Well, listen, I hope you can join us today for Good Friday services. They will be live streamed at tlc.org slash live. And then this weekend, the Easter celebration, our live stream goes live Saturday, 6 p.m. is available on demand after that. And the in-person services are COVID compliant. All the details at tlc.org slash Easter. God bless you.